Okay, since this is my divorce, I talk about this online because it's mine, right? I own it. I take ownership of it, um, even though it's not my fault and he left. And so here I am confronting my husband. Do you know that divorce is one of the most painful things someone can go through? I said, nightmares of you are pretty constant. I had another, I had like two dreams the other night of him. Nightmares of you, um, the trauma of you blindsiding me. Okay, your porn is like a tr drug addiction. How's your sex life? You neglected your sons and left them to die. He honestly left us to die. I, I seriously don't understand what is wrong with him. It's your job to provide. You neglected your sons. You left them to die. Um, you should be encouraging me and supporting me as your wife. You act like my worst enemy. Um, I can't even grieve, and that's still true. I'm so numb to this that I don't care. I, I just, I haven't grieved because I don't care. Um, I have no words for what you did to your best friend. He was supposed to be my best friend. How does a best friend do this to somebody? And then the one who got you in a job, I, I helped him get his GED. He didn't even want to get his GED. Um, I helped him go to school, uh, mechanic school. Um, and he's a narcissist like his mother, I said. The man I have loved turned and betrayed me. So when you love a man and he betrays you, there's just, I mean, it's bad enough if, like, before he's like, oh, my parents cornered me, and I didn't know what to do when they were upset about, um, you know, the mortgage. Um, they're upset over, like, a $100 here and there. Unbelievable. But he's like... Um, they cornered me and I didn't know what to do and, you know, I'm so sorry and, uh, they told me to divorce you and I felt like I had to divorce you and all this stuff. This is, we got through that. That took like five to six years to get through of w when he betrayed me before. So now when he betrays you, there's no hope anymore. There's no hope. When a guy purposely betrays you, I mean, he purposely knew what he was doing, twisted everything, and then went to his parents and lied. There is no hope for him with me anymore. Um, I tried to work this out. I was still willing to reconcile because I knew the way they were. I knew how mean-spirited and ugly they are. But he continues, so there's no hope anymore. And it's kind of like the saying with Jesus, you know? Jesus, there's somewhere in the Bible that says, be aware, I think it's in Hebrews, be aware of the goodness that you have tasted of God, because if you continue to sin, there is no further, um, what's the word, no further sacrifice for you, meaning there is no more hope for you. So I, you know, I cannot take that verse out of context. I don't completely understand it um, as far as people who say they're Christians and they continue to live in wicked ways. Um I don't know that there, there is another repentance for some people. I don't understand how this works, so I'm not going to say whether he's saved or not. He claims to be saved. He claims to know God, and this is how he acts.